Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'm at the Batu Caves, about to explore and climb up all those stairs. Oh my god, look at those stairs. It's definitely gonna be a good workout for all the food I've been eating. So, let's go and climb some stairs. Wow, check out that massive golden statue. It's almost as tall as the mountain. There's so many pigeons around as well. People are always feeding them and just taking pictures. And just... You have to be careful when you walk around. Because if you're not, then you must step on one of these pigeons. They don't seem to fly. There's a souvenir shop on the side. This is a sauce selling coconut juice. Wow, look at that huge stack of coconuts. Hello, ready? It's actually a very steep climb, and I'm already feeling a bit tired. <laughs> it's only been like 30 seconds. Check out this water. So nice. Oh, it's definitely a workout. Good cardio. Hey, there's a little monkey. This monkey just attacked another tourist just then. He just assaulted another female tourist. Look at this cute little monkey. There are actually two of them. Okay, never mind. There are actually a whole family of the monkey. They're like heaps. I think this place is like a monkey conservation site. And so many monkeys around here. Just climbing, roaming freely. Oh no, that monkey is chewing on plastic. Disaster. That's why you shouldn't you should never litter. Poor monkey. He just keeps chewing on the plastic. There's so many of them. He's literally standing right next to me. Whoa. This one scared the shit out of me. Look at him, licking his hand. Look how small they are. This one. It's got a baby. Little baby. Seems like a newborn monkey. One of the monkeys on the tree just crapped a shitload of, I don't know what it is, seems like mango or whatever. Almost fell on me. Actually shit, already fell on my phone. I see there's like juices and stuff. So I reached the top of the, top of the Batu Caves. And I'm absolutely soaked in sweat. Not because it's tiring, but also because of the humid weather in Malaysia. Like normally you just walk around and you're sweating like crazy. 
and there's a cave on top and it's pretty wet in here like water dripping from the top and yeah and there's a lot of Hindu architecture and statues and when you go down deep further inside you can see I think this is a temple maybe I'm not sure this is but I think it's a temple Hindu temple and also a lot of pigeons in here as well pigeons and monkeys just roaming free Unfortunately, there's a lot of littering inside here. I don't know why people would would just throw out the rubbish in a temple or in a sacred place like this. And the monkeys are just picking out the rubbish and just chewing on them. Uh, it is a pretty sad thing to see. Check out all this rubbish. Not sure if it's from tourists or from locals, I don't know, but yeah, it's just sad. And there is even a bin here, but people don't even bother throwing the rubbish inside the bin. Instead, they leave it on top. I don't know why. And this is the main Hindu temple, the main temple. But unfortunately, it is closed by the time I got here. These are the opening times. I guess... Probably won't wait and I'm just gonna go. Right now, we're going to the dark cave to explore, I think. Apparently, this cave is more natural than the previous one. And let's go and have a look. I think there is an entry fee, I'm not sure how much it is. Let's go on and have a look. Oh shit, there are snakes in there. I'm not sure if I want to go in there. So apparently there are a lot there are lots of um, bats in here as well. Yeah well let's go and have a look. I'm not sure if I can film anything inside. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty dark. But seems like there are quite a few scary creatures in there. So these are the bats that you can see inside the caves. They look just a little creepy. Oh shit, snakes and spiders and insects. Okay. So there are two um, two tours here. I'm going for the educational tour, which is uh, which costs 35 ringgit and 850 meters and 45 minutes. And the adventure tour, you have to book in advance My tour is at 2.05 and right now it's 1.40 I'm gonna have to wait around 20 minutes to get in Yo, right now I'm about to head into the caves
Lagu pun tu di Indiana Jones, Lara Croft, apa sahaja. Kita nak tua, lengko apa mula? Tua aku sih nak. Semua tu hanya gas dua. Penting apa yang kita kita nak kaji sesuatu. Just came out of the dark cave. That was an amazing experience, amazing tour, and the scenery inside is just amazing. And our tour guide was super knowledgeable. If you ever come to Kuala Lumpur, you must come and check out this place. It's uh, it's definitely worth it. It's a big family of monkeys. It's a dad, mom, and two kids. Filipino kids give me high five. The monkey. Watch out! 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 Watch out from Bar 2 Cave to um, Kuala Lumpur Station. I uh, hope everything goes well. So right now waiting for the train and it's coming in 20 minutes. And the public transport in Malaysia is uh, in Kuala Lumpur is a bit disappointing. Uh, probably taking Uber is a better option. But, uh, I'm taking the trains just to experience it, but um, I'll probably never take a train again this trip. And yeah, I hope it comes soon and so damn hot outside. So the train is finally here. It's actually quite spacious inside. It's definitely more spacious than Melbourne train. Alright, now I arrived at the Kuala Lumpur station and I think probably go check out the um, KLCC garden and just walk around first before heading to Pataling Street for dinner. Okay, so I found out that uh, apparently there's still 15 minutes worth of walking um, to Surya KLCC, which is where I want to go. So 15 minutes is a long walk, so I'll probably just take an Uber instead. You know, that's what I'm saying. The public transport is like weird because it doesn't get you to the most popular attractions, which is the city center. Um, and other, other places. So yeah, I'll just have to get a Uber. So I ended up spending 30 ringgit for the Uber and then $3, three ringgit for the um, subway ticket. Uh, if I took an Uber straight to uh, Surya KLCC, it probably would have been cheaper. So, because right now it's a peak hour and there's a surcharge, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just taking a little bit around, it's probably a lot easier.